So I love cars. This should be obvious based on the amount of photos of cars I take and the amount of content I put out about cars. And this behind me here is probably the worst Honda Civic EG in Thailand. And I convinced my friend to buy it. <laughs> brakes again we have no brakes seriously Yes, that's right. My friend actually bought this Honda Civic EG. As you can tell, there's no hood on it. It's in a pretty sad state, but our plans are to fix it up, get it looking very nice and clean, and hopefully have a really awesome car. So the way this whole thing started is, I have a Honda Civic EG. Our friend Poom has a Honda Civic EG. <laughs> uh, my friend Luca, he just drove my one. He's been in Poom's one before, and he kind of fell in love with them. So he thought, why not get a Honda Civic EZ for himself? Uh, and unfortunately, because these cars are kind of becoming classics, it's getting harder and harder to find them for cheap or so-called good value. So he went instead for the budget option. Before we actually take a look at the car, I quickly want to first talk about the fact that it doesn't have a hood. Yes, the hood came with a car. It's actually outside because it was really, really rusty. So we decided to see if we can save it with some paint stripper and see how the damage is. Otherwise, we're probably gonna have to get another hood. But let's talk about the engine uh, in this very nice bright blue kind of spearmint engine bay. It's got a D17 A2 with a five-speed manual. I believe it's the S20, so shorter gear ratios. So actually makes for some really fun driving. Uh, the previous owner actually used to track this car. So aftermarket exhaust, we don't really know what's been done to it, but I assume it's definitely been tuned. It has a straight pipe, so it is very, very loud. It also does have AC, but unfortunately, for whatever reason, uh, it's not working. Typical uh, 90s JDM shitbox behavior. But aside from that, I have to say that it actually runs really, really well in terms of just pure power and how it sounds. It sounds really, really loud, but it is really funny. And it smells a little bit, but it's definitely got a bit of kick to it, especially for what it is. And you might've already spotted the giant whale penis intake. Yes, that intake is absolutely massive. We also actually got some really nice CE28, although they are definitely not real and uh, some very, very old tires from 2014, so those need to go, because if you take a closer look at the tires, they're absolutely cracking like crazy, but um, it is what it is. Unfortunately, on the back, we only have drum brakes and no disc brakes on the back, so that's definitely something we should consider in the future. And on the rear, we have this kind of drag reduction. You basically cut a bunch of holes in your rear bumper and cut it in half, because on the Honda Civic EGs, the rear bumper actually kind of acts like a parachute, and you get a lot of drag on the rear bumpers. Lower speeds doesn't really make a difference, but you know, if we're gonna be tracking this car, I understand why. And all this kind of sticky stuff is residue from the glue from the previous owner. Uh, you know, it was all stickered up with a number and all that kind of stuff. And of course, he had a wing on it. And so you can see here, there are still the holes from the wing. So let's have a look inside. Unfortunately, the door handle is broken. Oh. So it requires a bit of finessing. Of course, we've got the fake Recaros, and it's really funny because this thing is actually zip tied to the car. Yes, I shit you not, the rear right bolt didn't really line up, so the previous owner thought, fuck it, why not? Let's just zip tie the seat to the car. Fortunately, there are two bolts on the front, but it doesn't stop the seat from being a little bit shaky when you're really giving it the beans. Definitely a little bit concerning and something we need to figure out right away, but I have to say it is still very, very funny. Another thing as well is there's no seat belt. Well, there's a seat belt across your waist. Previous owner had four point harness, obviously, so he removed the bolts here and he can't find them. So yeah, we don't really have properly functioning seat belts. And of course the interior is completely Completely gutted because race car like I said so this car is on the lighter side but hey at least we've still got a radio system gear lever is actually very very tight and everything seems to be all right and in place so that's quite nice as well and we've got a nice nardi or fake nardi deep dish steering wheel and so the price for this literal JDM shit box was a whopping 42,500 baht, I believe. I'll have to double check that with Luca. Honestly, that's not too bad considering the fact that you've got a pretty solid engine that runs really well, nice crisp gearbox, and you've got an entire EG chassis. And in US dollars, I'll put the conversion up here. It's probably something in the ballpark of around 1,200, 1,300 dollars or something like that. So there's only really one thing left to do, which is to go take it out for a test drive. Go. Keep in mind, it's going to be loud. Got a bit of pull, got a bit of torque. Yeah, yeah first and second gear, a lot of torque. 
after that it kind of dies down but you know compared to your everyday like Suzuki Swift or something like that I have to say this thing got a little bit of a kick to it are you happy with your purchase yeah, I can't complain right <laughs> it's got the sound, got the feeling. It's like a go kart. I like that shit. Of course, no air conditioning, 90 shit box. Uh, gotta fit the stereotype, and it's probably one of the hottest times of the year, you would say. Oh, definitely. Yeah. No cloud, no shade whatsoever. Like fucking sun. Just pure Ooh. sun, and this guy doesn't even have tint on his windows. Maybe so it's a little bit. <laughs> barely anything. Look at this. There's nothing. <laughs> so uh, we're kind of just inside of an oven. terms of the smells it makes <laughs> but you know race car you can't complain you're throwing that meme you know with this guy the, the black dude so you gotta go rid of the AC take my 115 HP race car out of <laughs> oh man the brakes come on so late fucking broken again you know I'm like pretty deep right it's real deep definitely the bastard needs some AC <laughs> you should get some tinted windows to help with the uh, the, the, the feeling of being inside a, a literal oven. Attach the seats properly, that's probably a, a, another good thing to do. To get rid of the zip ties, right? <laughs> yeah, get, ri get rid of the zip ties. And uh, after that, I think pretty much everything else would be cosmetic on the outside. Maybe get the brake checked out, because this is a bit concerning, but... It's, it's that bad again. It's all the way now. It's terrible. It's like, really, like, it does not... It's all the way. Yeah, that's... Like I, I'm like I'm. This is barely any pressure. Okay, no, there's no brakes. There's no brakes now. No, we have no brakes. We have no brakes. We have no brakes again. We have no brakes. Seriously? Look, this is me like doing it maximum. Okay. So we had to end the ride early because we have no more brakes. We actually got this checked out yesterday. Luca was driving the car and the brakes completely cut out, and uh, we actually went to a place, got it fixed, and they said there's a problem with the master cylinder. But now um, there is literally no brakes at all definitely very concerning now that we've already fixed it once and we actually don't know what it is so uh we'll have to take it back to our friend's place and hopefully get it figured out that's the problem with these old cars you don't really know what's wrong with them you kind of got to tear down the whole car apart to find all these little problems but you know that's expected of a was it like 30 30 year old car now but anyways if you guys want to see more of this shit box and more car related stuff uh, photos videos everything then be sure to subscribe and stick around